and also just you know I, I just wanted to to mention uh, you know with the passing of of Bill Walton today just how much he meant to uh, me and so many people that I, that I'm close to um, that I've been on a text message thread with um, our 86 team and uh, you know some some of the memories are you know just I mean they're beyond priceless um, he has stayed in touch with me he's been texting me um, a lot throughout <clears throat> our playoffs I read I read some of his text messages to our players during our prep session before we went out on the court just so they could realize um, the impact that, that they're having on on people all around basketball. Um, Bill really liked likes our team, liked the way we played. Um, and I have him to thank probably also for um, me being married to my wife Donna. Our first date was to a dead show in Washington, D.C. and I had called Bill and I, I said, "Look, this is 1987. I'm, I got a date with a girl that I think is pretty cool. I'd love to go to the Dead Show at Capitol Center. I don't have any tickets. Can you help?" <laughs> and he said, uh, "Just go to the back door, ask for Dennis McAnally, tell him you're Rick Carlisle from the Boston Celtics, and everything will be just fine." Uh, I said, really? And he said, I said, oh yeah. So I, I, you know, I, I drove up to the loading dock, and so Donna was with, with me. We hadn't known each other that long. And I said, just you know, just wait here a second. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> she said, do you have tickets? I said, just give me a, just give me a couple minutes here. And so I walked down and I knocked on the door. Um, the whole thing ended up working out. I walked back up the loading dock ramp with two all-access laminates. One said Bill Walton, and one said Susie Walton. And so, so we were set up for the show, and we were on, we were actually on stage watching the show. And during the break, we just kind of we kind we kind of just um, you know kind of wandered into the back and just opened up a door and uh, ended up sitting down with Jerry Garcia, Bob Weir, and Mickey Hart for about 15 minutes, just shooting. I mean, it was it was an unbelievable night, and you know, obviously, it's a it's a it's a good first date, you know. So anyway, I, I'm I'm thankful for, to him. I know there's been a lot of talk today about what he meant to the whole world. Um, you know, to me, to me, he he was a, a living, breathing event in history. Just walking around, he was involved in so many events. Um, in pop culture, in sports, you know, he played drums for the Grateful Dead in the pyramids in Egypt. You know, he did, he was a guy that did everything. And there's been a lot of talk today about, you know, how he, how he speaks in hyperbole so much and stuff. But he, he just was, he defiantly competed for every moment in life to be the greatest it could possibly be. You know, that's, that's the best way to describe it. I mean... Um, I talked to Luke today for for a few minutes. You know they're they're doing okay, but it's um, this is this has been tough, obviously, and it'll it'll be um, it'll it'll continue to be tough. But what what an amazing man! Um, there will never be another. <laughs>